Hello everyone, I am here today to discuss with you on how you can connect your phone and SIM card into your decentralized account in SMS it. You would need to connect your phone and SIM because um, in decentralized, you won't be able to send out message without a gateway. And either you connect a third party gateway provider or a phone and SIM card in order for that to work. Now we're gonna go with the tutorial on how to connect your phone and SIM card. So what you need to do is you need to be in front of your computer or laptop, and you also need to grab your Android phone. So um, first is in your computer, you just go log into your account and click on SMS at gateway right here. So I go ahead and open it. And initially it would pop up automatically here, but if it doesn't, then you can go to gateway devices and click on add device right here. So the device that I've added earlier has already been added. That's why it didn't pop up. And how I did that is I'm going to show you over on my phone that I screen recorded just for you guys. So this is the phone. So as you can see in your phone right now, you need to also do the same thing. You need to open a Chrome browser and log into your account. It's an SMS account. And uh, you just simply click on the menu up top here and then click go to SMS gateway just like what we did on the computer side and then after that it will automatically pop up this um, message and again if you don't get that automatic pop-up you can go to gateway devices instead now um, in order for you to download the app you need to click that here blue button link and it will download for you. Now I've already downloaded the file, so that's why it's asking to download it again. And it's downloading now. Once it's downloaded, you open it and it will ask for you to install the application. You just click install and it's gonna install for you. Now the app, app installed, you just need to open it. Click open and click allow on all permissions. And on this part right here, where sometimes most of the customer gets the confusion, the purpose of the QR code is for you to sign in, but not to download the application. Because the downloading of the application, we just did that by logging into your account on the phone. So we click on sign in using your QR code. And we're going to scan the QR code that we, we had earlier in front of our computer screen. This was what I did. Uh, uh, earlier from my phone. And then we set up the uh, SMS app as default here. SMS gateway right there. And then of course, I will have to click the pink play button on the lower right corner for the services to start. And that's it, simple. You will now have your gateway uh, SMS app in your phone. And when you go into your SMS gateway in the computers and you would see that in gateway devices that your phone is connected. Just like mine here, the app version would show 9.01. And for those old users, um, um, our customers before, um, if your app version doesn't show this one, um, you might wanna re-download the app because um, that, that could cause you problems in sending and receiving messages. And that's it, um, that's how you connect your phone, but it's not done yet. You have to connect your phone number, or SIM card phone number of that Android phone. That way you would have a primary number here. And how do you do that? Is to click the link gateway here to decentralize dashboard. So I'll go ahead and click that. And I just need to put in my decentralized account email, which is the one that I use to log in in my decentralized dashboard and my country code my phone number is from the philippines four nine one six and this right here is your gateway api key and uh normally it would be um copied over into the decentralized dashboard but uh you can always copy that and paste it on the note because uh, we will be using that later just in case so I'll click Connect Gateway here. And that's it, you're done. And again, there's uh, for the country called earlier, just choose the 
the country's uh, country code on this icon and then the additional numbers. No need for you to put in the country code again. So if I go back here and I refresh my page on the decentralized dashboard, you would see my phone number showing up. And uh, in order for you to make sure the one that I said earlier about the Gateway API, you have to check here in Get Started and then SMPP Connect Third Party Gateway. This is where you can find that gateway key. So as you can see, it's in there. But if it's not there, then it's good that you copied it earlier on a note like this one. Or you can go here in the gateway under Gateway API and copy the whole thing and paste it and make sure it's saved. Uh, it's important that it's in here because your uh, sending would not work because your message will be just, just be stuck here in the gateway. I mean, the centralized uh, AI control panel or the dashboard, and it would not go through your gateway. And that's basically um, the, the main steps that you just need to do. And if ever you're going to need to add new phone number again or change your phone number, all you have to do is um, connect your new SIM card and phone or if it's a new phone, but or if it's the same phone, but a uh, different SIM card, uh, you just need to um, click this numbers here. Because we would this would actually allow you to release all the numbers. So this number right here that you have existing would be released. Let me show it to you. And as you can see, it will be removed. So if you have a new uh, SIM card phone number, that's how you do it. You release the phone number and you go through the link gateway process again in order for you to put in the new number that you have. So it's very simple. Um, if you need still further help, we're a chat away. And basically, that's it. That's how you can connect your phone and SIM card into the decentralized dashboard of SMSC. That will be all for today. Thank you.